I'm sorry, gentlemen. Mrs. Terrace refuses to see you. Please give her this note. Sir. But, um, what did you put? I now know the facts about Jesse Millwood. So you've decided that Hicks was telling the truth? I've decided nothing. I'm waiting for confirmation from Mrs. Terrace. It was a bluff? A bluff that worked. Good evening, Mrs. Terrace. Thank you for seeing me. Do you know who killed my husband? No, I do not. Do you believe that you can find out? If you will answer my questions. Go on. My client, Miss Jessie Millwood, told me that the late Mr. Terrace despised Seymour Hicks for ruining his daughter's career. That Hicks, in turn, hated him for blocking his progress in the profession. And that Terrace was about to leave you, his wife, in order to marry her. I scarcely know where to begin. Then I shall help you. I suspect that it's a tissue of lies from beginning to end. The woman lives in a fantasy world. Indeed. But perhaps not all of the time. She certainly seems to harbour some sort of permanent delusion concerning poor Will. He wasn't in love with her? No, oh, there was love, Dr Watson. But it was totally one-sided. The woman was obsessed with him. She would make up any story she could at the drop of a hat to bolster her pathetic illusions. How did Terrace react to her? Well, it was difficult for him. He had to work with her, appear with her on stage all the time. He, he tried to make her see the truth of it. But she just refused, point blank. She wouldn't believe him? Would not. Or could not. When was this? Months ago. Will made his position perfectly clear and... And she turned against all of us and started spreading her disgusting lies. Terrace didn't blame Hicks for ending your daughter's career. Well, knew perfectly well that Ella was planning to leave the stage anyway. I thought she had a promising future. Do you have any idea how hard it is living in the shadow of a famous father? I have heard something of the sort. When Ella fell pregnant, well, it was wonderful. It was what we all wanted. But... but the disgrace. What disgrace? What disgrace? <sighs> I know your world is free and easy, but w surely... Wait, wait, Watson. Mrs. Terrace, how long has your daughter been married? Nearly two years. Why? <sighs> what did that woman tell you? It's not important. What about the other accusations? Uh, Terrace put obstacles in his son-in-law's path and he hated Terrace for it. It's simply... Not true. Dr. Watson, Mr. Holmes, I only know of one person in the whole world who hated William Terrace. And that person was Miss Jessie Millwood. How much do you know? We know everything. He did love me, you know. He did love me once. No. He loved his wife and his daughter. He told you so. Repeatedly. And you refuse to believe him. Do you deny it? Yes, I deny it. Miss Millward. I deny it, I deny it. Don't you understand? I did believe him. I did. I did. I knew he didn't love me. And what did you do? I wanted to hurt him and his sanctimonious family. I wanted to hurt him so badly and then... And then he was brutally stamped to death and his family plunged into grief. Exactly what you wanted. When I heard, I wasn't glad. Not really. I didn't know how to react. Not at first. I'm still not sure. Isn't that ridiculous? Are you saying you didn't kill him? No, Doctor. It wasn't me. How could it be me? I loved him. Even when I hated him, I still loved him. So she came to you purely to implicate Seymour Hicks? Mm, twisting the knife in the wound. Any member of the family would have sufficed. Hicks was simply the most convenient. Such hatred. You know, the killer was completely muffled and didn't speak. It could have been her. Hmm. Not here. Let's go somewhere quieter. So, you didn't believe her denial? She is an actress, and a good one. As you so perceptively remarked, on this case, we're surrounded by actors. Yes. And unfortunately, so was Terrace, both in his public and his private life. 
I've remarked to you that singularity can be a vital clue. You have. Regrettably, in this case, we're talking of a man with dozens of friends, hundreds of colleagues, and, and thousands of admirers. Is there really nothing else to go on? Well, if there is, I can't see it. Actors, actors, actors. Public faces, private truths. I've often thought that the greatest criminals would have had excellent careers on the stage. You have? Hmm. Think of the late, lamented Professor Moriarty. Hiding behind his respectable public face. <laughs> ah, it's acting of the highest order. I've never thought of it like that. Shakespeare had the right of it. But then he usually did. All the world's a stage. And all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances and one man. <sighs> Holmes? Watson. I've been a fool. You know who did it? I have a suspicion. Well? Not yet. First, I need one vital piece of information. You want to know what? I want to know how frequently your committee meets and when. For God's sake, come to the office in the morning. Now, Mr. Cotson, if you please. The third Thursday of every month. Now, if that's all... That is not all. I have two more questions. <sighs> no one's home. No. Wait. Wait, if you're right... I'm quite certain of it. Well, then it's possible... Holmes, we have to get this door open. It seems you were wrong. No remorseful suicide's corpse to excite your readers. Thank God for it. But where do we look now? At the temple of the fallen idol. <laughs> 